Consider this thought experiment called Mary's Room, which was proposed by the philosopher Frank Jackson in 1982. He was essentially asking how our private subjective experiences, like color, can be reduced to physical information. Here's the setup he proposed. Mary is a brilliant scientist who knows everything there is to know about the science of color. She understands the wavelengths, the neural processes, in other words, the physics and the biology, but Mary has lived her entire life in a black and white room, and she has never actually seen color. She reads about red in the sense that it's a 700 nanometer wavelength. She understands how it stimulates particular cones in the retina, how it's processed in the visual cortex, but she's never experienced red. Then, one day, she steps outside and sees a ripe tomato for the first time. Now, Jackson's question is, does Mary learn something new when she sees red for the first time? If she does, then there's something about the experience of color, some qualitative first-person knowledge that isn't captured just by the objective physical facts. And that thought experiment illustrates the difficulty in explaining subjective experience just in terms of physical mechanisms.